Okay, welcome to another video. This time I want to take a look at adding a new user account to your Windows 7 and it kind of nicely follows on from the last video um, which was formatting and clean install of Windows 7. Um, we're just going to cover how you actually add a second or a third or a fourth user account and it's very straightforward so this is going to be a very quick video but um, it's, it's, it's something that people want to do and you know I'm always asked how do I create a new account um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to start and then we're going to go to control panel and in control panel we're in category view and you'll see here that we've got user accounts and family safety and underneath that we've got a direct link to add or remove user accounts like I say this is very straightforward um, you'll see that we've got two accounts here the main DIY PC repairs Account which is administrator, which is an administrator, or who is an administrator even, <laughs> and um, you also see we've got a guest account which is turned off, and it, it's always recommended that you do leave that turned off. You know, always rather than having people use the guest account, I mean, it's got no privileges at, at all. They can't really do anything under that account, um, but there's no password on there, so anybody can just come straight onto the system. Um, so it's always best to add user accounts for uh, the amount of users you've got. Um, so down here you'll see that we've got create a new account. So we're going to click on that. Straightforward. We need a name, and we'll call this test. And underneath there you'll have standard user or administrator, and a little bit of a description of what a standard user can do and what an administrator can do. Basically, the administrator's got full rights. And it w an administrator account will only be challenged by user account control, and at which point the administrator can just basically say yes, I've I've allowed that user account control, I'll accept that, and you'll go on. Um, most people create an administrator account, but again, uh, if you if you want to restrict a user's ability on your PC, you know, in that you know you've got somebody that it's not their PC but they just want access to it standard user is perfect for that administrator for more long term use um, and for this task and this video I'm going to create an administrator account and then we just click a create account and there we go we have now test is now an administrator now at any point if you are logged in with an administrator account we can um, change the name, create a password for this account um, change the picture which is, it's all very self-explanatory here and this this link here is useful although we have created as an administrator account we can change that at any point so if we now want to remove administrator rights we can now change that over to a standard user um, a standard user can't obviously do that. You need to be logged in with an administrator account to actually make account changes like that. Um, but that's as simple as that. If we now close out of there and we'll now have two accounts and again just to, to you know to add a third you just go back in and we can click create an account and create another account. It's as easy as that. So that's how we create user accounts for Windows 7 and if you like you can check out the blog at DIYPCRepairs.net we've got videos on there covering all kinds of things and useful bits and bats so um, I'd like to thank you for viewing